Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about handbags. I wanna share with you my handbag collection and also maybe a few deals and steals that I have available on buyingfrombree.com. So first up in my handbag collection is my Gucci Marmont bucket bag and it is a mini bag. Um, so this was actually my first designer purchase, um, or I guess designer bag purchase, and I got it in the Saks Fifth Avenue that is um, in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, it's a very good bag, believe it or not, it actually fits a ton of stuff. Um, everything that I need, um, wallet, although I carry a mini wallet, so like my wallet fits in pretty much every bag I own. Um, but my wallet, my keys, my phone, and I also have an iPhone XS Max in case anyone is curious, but yeah, everything fits in it. I'll put a picture of it styled in here somewhere. I will say that you do have to worry about color transfer with this bag. Um, I do have a little bit on the back. I know it might be hard to tell, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a white bag and anytime you have a white bag, this kind of stuff comes with it, but I personally think it's super cute. Um, I won't ever sell it. It'll always be a bag that I own. So next up in my collection, we have this little Saint Laurent belt bag. Um, it's got the cute little tassel on the side and of course gold hardware. So fun thing about me, all of my hardware will always be pretty much gold because it's just, that's what I prefer. I prefer gold jewelry over silver or white gold. Um, it's just a preference, but yeah, this is actually a velvet bag. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in the camera, but it's a velvet bag. It does fit a good amount of stuff. And when I say good amount, I always just mean the standard keys, phone, wallet, um, lip chap, lipstick, whatever else you may want to put in your bag. Um, but it does fit all of that. I generally wear it across my chest like this. Um, sometimes on the shoulder. It just depends on the day, what outfit I have on, what I'm feeling. Um, moving on, next up we got this mark jacobs and this is the sure shot bag i think um so i also have i couldn't find it for the video it's somewhere but i also have a um snapshot bag which is the same bag pretty much but a bit smaller um but this bag is such good quality and such a great price point um all of the hardware of course is gold it's very sturdy um lots of structure to this bag very Nice that you can take the strap off and be able to carry it, um, you know, from the top handle if you wanted. But truly a great bag. I think this color goes with practically everything. I mean, it's just a beautiful bag. Um, and again, great price point. I think I paid under 400 for this bag. Um, actually, I know I paid under 400 because I don't pay retail for hardly anything. Um, but I did pay retail for the Gucci bag and my Chanel bag, which I will share later. So next up, I'm actually gonna share some bags available on my website, buyingfrombree.com. Um, and I'm gonna include this one just to give you guys an idea of the kind of things that I sell or my style and what I, what I can um, get for you for a great price. But like this one actually sold literally about 10 minutes ago online, but this is a Fendi white um, flat baguette bag. Um, and it's pretty much just a wallet if I, if I had to, you know, say, but it does have a good, decent amount of room for it to be kind of a wallet on a chain, um, even though they don't call it that. Um, but very beautiful bag, so classy looking. This strap is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I wanna say it retailed for about $13.50 and my client's price was of course $7.95, which is always a deal. And another bag that Buying From Brie has available is this mini baguette bag by Valentino. Literally here lately, I am so obsessed with their rock stud stuff. I mean, I know it's a staple in their collection, but I just cannot get enough of it. Um, it's very, very classy looking. I love that the logo's on the back and not on the front. Cause sometimes, you know, it's good to not have a bag with logos screaming all over the front. Sometimes you just want something a bit more neutral and low key. So yeah, this is a great bag. Um, it does fit my large iPhone. Um, does not fit my mini wallet. It's too thick for this, but it will also fit my car key. 
Um, so yeah, also available on buyingfrombrie.com. Retail is $8.90 and my price is $5.95. So the last bag available from Buying From Brie is this Chloe Mini Woody um, Tote. These are for sure the tote that is like to have right now. Um, honestly, I personally have on my wish list a Dior book tote. I would happily take a Chloe Woody tote until I save up enough to bite the bullet and buy a Dior book tote because they are very pricey. Um, but yeah, this tote is their mini size. It's got a ton of space on the inside. You'd be surprised. I could definitely fit my iPad in here um, if that will give you guys an idea. But this one is also available and I think retail on this one is maybe $8.90. I'll have to check to be sure. Um, and I'll leave links for everything available on my website in the description box. And on the topic of Chloe, because I just showed you the Woody book tote, I meant the Woody tote, um, I also, this is in my personal collection, it is the Chloe um, Woody belt bag. And oh my gosh, I have carried this thing every single day since I got it. I haven't touched my Gucci, my Chanel, my Fendi, haven't touched any of those since I've got this. I've just been totally obsessed. Um, and it fits just so much. I know it's hard to tell, but I mean, I have so much stuff. I'm actually using it now and I didn't clean it out for this video. But I have so much stuff in this thing. Um, I always wear it across my chest, sometimes over the shoulder. But I mean, their logo with this Chloe and the thick strap, I mean, it's just like, it's everything to me. Um, it's a totally great bag. If you find this, also the price point, $650 and that is retail. You honestly cannot beat it. I would buy it at retail um, and I just about did. I hardly got anything off of it. Um, but yeah, totally, totally recommend, would get one immediately. So next up we have this Fendi Mon Tracer bag, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not, um, but it's one of my favorite bags in my collection. It was the second designer bag I owned, I believe. I can't remember. Um, I will say this is not the original strap that came with it. Um, this strap is absolutely beautiful. It just makes the purse. I cannot get enough of it. Um, the strap that came with it looks like this, it's similar to this embossed leather, um, but of course it doesn't have the S, it's just like these two different colors on either side, I believe, I can't remember, I haven't, I haven't looked at it in a while. Um, but yeah, I bought this as a gift to myself. Uh, one day I was just grinding really hard for buying from Brie and I found it for a great price, um, so I went ahead and bought it. I just, I think it's a great tote, it fits so much stuff, honestly it's like a brick whenever. I uh, carry it to work or whatever else, but great work bag, great going out bag, honestly, because I can also wear it across my body. It's just a little bit tight. Um, but yeah, would highly recommend. Of course, we didn't pay retail, and I snagged this strap. Um, this strap retailed for like $1,200, I think, which is insanity. Who's paying $1,200 for a strap? Um, but I think I snagged it for about $400 on eBay, so it was great. But yeah, um, and last up in my collection is of course, my Chanel bag. Um, I got this bag just a few months ago, actually. I saw it and I immediately knew that that bag had my name all over it. Um, it is a denim bag. It's a neon denim bag. A lot of people say, you know, for your first bag or your first Chanel or whatever, go with something classic and many people want, you know, the black and gold or whatever. But honestly, that just wasn't for me. There are some accounts on um, YouTube and Instagram that I follow. Um, one of the accounts on YouTube um, is a girl named Lou. Um, she is definitely bag obsessed. Um, and what I really love about her is that she's not like the typical get something very basic or small for your first bag or your first Chanel. Um, she defies all of that and is like, get what you love, who cares? And I, I wanna say she loves like lambskin, which most people are like, no caviar. Um, but anyways, also an account that she seems to be connected with a lot is Redelux and they seem to be um, like resellers of high fashion bags. Sometimes they even have Hermes, um, but mostly Chanel. I've been eyeing some bags on their site. I'll for sure probably um, look to them when I do get ready to purchase another Chanel bag. 
um, just because they can get those hard to find bags or the really wild colors that you might want. Um, but yeah, so with that guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. Please like and comment and also share with your friends if you have friends that you think would be interested in this content. Um, and for sure, let me know in the comments if you will have a video idea of what you'd like to see from me next. Um, be sure to follow Buying From Brie on Instagram and you can shop the website 24 seven um, on buyingfrombrie.com. Thanks so much. See you guys.